Now we will focus on how to be an effective boxer when you have been the one to carry out certain work. Each boxing camp has its own versions and techniques of fighting. But one thing you should keep in mind, Thais has an ingrained little strength in their blood. And let go by one. It's time for and what Gelsenbrit the one with a heavy punch, whose work will really deserve recognition as a champion of three classification divisions of Thailand, who drive fear into the hearts of the opponent. In the kingdoms of Thai boxing, the punches are divided in two five categories. The jab, the jab still incredible coup, is used to find the rent or trouble the opponent to throw the jab accurately. The person has to practice on the punch back a lot. Definitely, it could be used in the attacks, defense, or retreat. Target areas is around the face and chin. The jab itself is used to provoke the opponent and also to find the rain. While you are throwing your punch, such action should serve to paralyze the opponent. Take a look at the straight punch. Technically, a straight punch is a result of harmony and perfect synchronization. The twist of heels to add momentum to the hips movement. The move of the hips to strengthen the shoulders movement and the turns of the shoulder to add to the progress of the punch. And the target is the areas around the face, shins, and body. The definition of boxing is an exchange of blows. The straight punch is a sequel to the jab. Absolutely, the jab is a punch turn to fight the ring. So it would be followed by the straight punch which is apparently known as the one-two punch. Whatever parts of the opponent's body become the receiving ends of your punch, you should pull the fist back immediately. The hook's punch, the most useful technique for the hooks is that you twist your wrist as if it were a screwdriver, pushing its way through the protecting guards such techniques would increase the powers of the punch and the accuracy to perform proper tight boxing. The boxer should use the knuckle to hit the target. To throw the hook, you should not keep too far a distance and no need plenty of room to employ the hook. When fighting and the inside, targets for this kind of punch are the area around the ears that between the sins and the jawline and the rib. A talented boxer will also follow the uppercut with the hook. To increase the power of the punch is to impel the lower the body upwards. In doing so, this movement should be adding the momentum to the hook and should base away of the opponent's counter attack with the elbow to the forehead. The upper punch. The upper punch is the extremely powerful of all the punches for fighting and limited area of very close proximity. To throw the uppercut you must bend your forward knee and strengthen the back leg. To keep body strengthened then throw the punch with the fist crimped and the palm facing you. The normal targets of the punch are the areas around the body, the chest and the chin. When just that, the uppercut is the sharpest of all the punches. To throw the uppercut, you must bend your forward knees and strengthen the back legs. In case of advance by the opponent, move up one step towards the opening so as to increase the impact and powers of the punch. 
Sometimes it seems just a bell, and the actions can be least the greatest his weapon. Now you do the thing extremely smart. This old man created ego, and you have a wonderful access. Swing punch. This type of punch is usually thrown, landed at a further distance, and could be thrown when there is a gap on the opponent's body or face. If the boxer does not have a good balance when missing the target, he turns around himself into 360 degrees of angles and will be much wider when hitting the floor. You just turn the whole body when turning to face and open. Try to turn only one half or three quarters of it. As you get into it, it gets easier. Every time you train, keep a close check on the effectiveness of your stand or guard when sparring with your partner. Some things stand, some drink clear. And you come too far to return back. Now, I do believe without sports, you won't have a life. The powers of the punch will be increased if one could twist the body and throw the punch quickly. Everything must be in synchronization to make. Then the punch will go. Take a look at the events now. Fairly good action for the boxer and the trainers in the camp. Try to do the best you can. Don't allow yourself to be distracted from the opponent. You need to pay attention to the job, as mistakes are easily missed. During the fighting in whatever form, it is essential to know when to hold your punches and to pause a little so as to achieve the perfect rhythm. Some boxers like to stiffen the fish all the time. In doing so, leave the muscle lose some strength behind. This is must have three events for all of you to comprehend Thai boxing and how to arrange the punches during a fight. This could be the choice for you. A boxer with the heavy punch is very difficult for the opponent to cope with. Take a look at and what girl some read in the blue corner and gonky pop pet in the in the red corner. Take your time in the event. Definitely, if one fell in circle and not confident, that could be a sign of sure defense. That's worth thing for type of thing in this condition. With a slow movement, with or without a good guard, don't stand up to this kind of fighter and exchange blows. If you don't have the good action, this is the second event in craze of fighting between a heavy punch and what Gelsenbrick.